Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anu Katharisen, I'm a fertility specialist in Houston, Texas, and I'm here to bring you understandable fertility information. Today we'll be talking about age and fertility. Why is it that fertility declines with age? So we'll talk about some of these points today. Fertility declines with age, and that effect is more pronounced on the woman compared to the man. And in the woman, there's a gradual decline in pregnancy rates around age 32, and it becomes more significant around age 35. In addition to there being a decline in pregnancy rates as we get older, there's an increase in miscarriage rates. And for reference, a young woman, for example, 30, um, assuming everything is normal, her chances of conceiving each month are about 20 to 25%. And that number is going to decline with time. A woman around the age of 40, her chances of conceiving each month are about 5%. Now, let's talk about a few more points that are good to know in terms of age and fertility in a little bit more detail. Number one, decline in egg numbers. We are born with a certain number of eggs and that number is genetically predetermined. And when we're still in utero in our mom's belly is when we'll have the highest number of eggs. And that number is six to seven million. By the time we're born, it's already dropped to one to two million. By the time of puberty, it's about 300,000. By age 40, it's about 25,000. And by menopause, it's less than a thousand. So there's a significant decline in numbers as we get older. Number two, a decline in egg quality. As a woman ages, there's not only a decline in the egg number, but also a decline in the egg quality, referring to the chromosomal makeup of the egg. So as a woman gets older, not only is there a lower number of eggs, but also a higher proportion of genetically abnormal eggs of her remaining eggs. So when an embryo is made, it starts off with an egg going through division processes, ultimately resulting in a normal number of chromosomes in the embryo. As we become older, those division processes don't happen as efficiently, and we end up with an abnormal number of chromosomes in the embryo. This results in a higher chance of miscarriage, decreased chance of pregnancy, and a higher chance of a genetically abnormal offspring, such as Down syndrome. So this is also a concern as women age, that there's decline in that quality in the egg. Number three, each month we lose a whole set of eggs. So I describe it to patients as your eggs are locked away in a vault. Each month, a certain number are released and become visible on ultrasound. One will grow to be the dominant follicle that will eventually ovulate the egg, and the rest of those follicles and eggs within them will die off. And then another month, another set will grow. Now, in the course of our reproductive lifespan, we will only ovulate 400 eggs. So if we're born with one to two million eggs and we only ovulate 400 eggs, there's a large number of eggs that ultimately die off and that we ultimately lose. Number four, we cannot reverse the effects of aging on the egg. Unlike men who can regenerate sperm every three months, women cannot regenerate eggs. So once our remaining egg supply is depleted, there's unfortunately nothing that we can do to increase our remaining egg supply. Number five, supplements that we recommend in women with low ovarian reserve. The first is DHEA. There have been studies that have shown an association with DHEA and a modest improvement in ovarian response. So we usually recommend it for this reason. The second is CoQ10. CoQ10 is thought to enhance egg mitochondrial energy production, and this may improve separation of the chromosomes and also embryo development. So we usually recommend both of these supplements in women with low ovarian reserve. For more information on this, check out my Fertility Friday video on aging and fertility, and I'll put the link below also. So the last thing to go over is when to see a fertility specialist. If you're under the age of 35 and you've been trying for a year, it's recommended to see a fertility specialist. If you're between the ages of 35 and 39 and you've been trying for six months, this is the time when it's also recommended to see a fertility specialist. If you're over the age of 40, it's recommended to see a fertility specialist right away. And this is because our concern of the effects of advancing age on ovarian reserve. For women interested in fertility preservation, they may not be ready to start a family, but they're concerned about the effects of advancing age on ovarian reserve. They can be seen at any time to discuss fertility preservation. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. You can always follow me on other social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and I have a website that you can check out, which is www.anukatherisonmd.com. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your fellow fertility warriors, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching. See you in the next video.